Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Welcome to Darling Games. My name is Dana and today we are going to do a seafood restaurant build. We're using the same path codes that we used in several of our other builds from Kyle and Crossing, which I'll have linked below. And we are doing a city core build on this island as well. So we are on Dahlia. It is our winter wonderland city core island. And we're just laying down some streets. We're gonna end up making a parking lot that ends into this restaurant. So we're using a lot of the new 2.0 items in order to create a restaurant looking build, and make it a little bit more realistic. I do use some of the simple panels as well to create a door and we're using a lot of the light arches. I use the retro transportation station both ways. I use it front and back. If you use it the front way, it looks like it's a bench. If you flip it around, then it looks like it's a wall. So we're using it both ways. And I did put some custom codes that are, well, actually maybe I didn't use the custom codes. I think I just used one of the options they had of the bottles because we do have the bottles in the games. So I wanted it to kind of look like a like a buffet style I guess that you could walk up there and get your drinks get your food whatever items it is that you know the villagers are wanting and make kind of like an outdoor buffet even though it is winter there is outdoor seating right there along the beach and I thought it it actually looks very coastal which I'm not mad at that I think that actually looks really nice so it's kind of like um, it is on the coast right there so making the build look a little bit coastal is fine because you do go right out onto the beach and we'll decorate the beach a little bit later. This does follow my last build where we did this main street area with the jam shop and the bookstore. So it is literally just right behind that area and kind of leads into this restaurant. And we make a little parking lot because I wanted to put one of those large trucks and be able to put the seafood um, code that I had found on the truck so it looks like it is a truck for that specific restaurant so we made just a little parking lot so the street ends here and you've got the seafood custom code that I use in a couple of different places so it just repeats and makes it looks like it is their logo that they're using for this restaurant. I used a couple different colors of the bottles again we're still sticking with the blue and purple and pink theme because it's just kind of a very cool color palette and I think it lends itself really well to the winter wonderland theme that I'm trying to go for. We use these curved lights earlier in the other builds so we're just going to stick with these curved lights throughout probably the entire island I'm guessing. Um, I don't know yet until I actually get there but I do really like them. They do take up a little bit of space. You have to kind of push them back off the street so that your people can walk through it. And this was actually my daughter's idea to create like a little bike rack using that park fencing. So that's what we did. We created a little bike rack because um, I actually had my girls kind of going over some of the things that we were gonna do and help me figure out this build. I did use um, several of those, uh, well not several, but a couple of the milk cans and just layered some items from the tallest in the back to the shortest in the front just to kind of give it um, just a more, I don't know, like beachy, cottagey, cluttered sort of a feel. Um, I did use that blue sign. You know, I don't remember us having that blue sign before 2.0 and maybe we did and I just didn't have that color option. I'm not sure. But I found it when I went to customize the sign that we could customize it in that blue sign. And so, yeah, I'm not sure if this is new or if this is something I just didn't have previously, but now that we're allowed to customize, I was able to see it, but I think it fits really well. The other thing I really wanted to do with this build is to make it kind of like two level build. So the building looks very tall, but I also wanted um, like a seating area or something up on top that the villagers could come up on top. Eventually up top here, there's gonna be a street and there's gonna be some builds on this street up here as well but that will be in future builds. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna make that happen, but that is the plan for this area up here. So I'm just laying out some items so that this build will end up being like a two-story build. So when you're, as you're walking up to it, it's not just one level. And I'm using similar items to what I had bef 
below. I did find this really cute blue, like a paneling that has lights on it. And I decided to use that in this area up top because I thought it looked really cute. Like it was a patio space up here. So that's what I had used up here. And then I just mimicked it in the front and the back. I kind of did the exact same layout. So whether or not you're walking from the front or the back, you kind of see similar items. And I thought that it, it gave it a little um, more consistent look, I guess, to this build and made it a little bit more realistic. So I still use these arches, these light arches and the storefronts. And I really like these gazebos. I felt like, at least from the below, they make it look like they're the roof of the build. So I really liked using the gazebos up top there. And then I just um, used the cliff tool just to kind of round the corners at the edges of the build because now that we have everything in place, that's exactly where I had wanted it. I did forget to push one of the storefronts a little bit far back. So before I actually do the island tour, I'm going to have to fix that because now that I'm re-watching it, it kind of bothers me. So I will fix that at some point in the future. I did have a lot of uh, difficulty trying to figure out what I was going to do up top here and to make it all fit. At first, I was just going to do a patio with some fencing and items. And then eventually you'll see that I end up bringing in some greenery and putting some trees and items up there but I felt like it gave it the height that it needed and made it a little bit it, it just made that side of the build look a lot better and like it fit a little bit better with what was going on on the right side it helped the left side kind of balance because right now it's just not really balanced I don't feel like so I brought in the bunnies like I had brought in bunnies and some of my other builds because for whatever reason I'm in love with these bunnies and um, I wanted this patio area just to look like a really comfortable seating area as you lead out to the beach and maybe your villagers could go out on the beach and, you know, do fishing or whatever. But on the way out there, they could sit and chill, have something to eat, have some coffee. I really love these bistro tables. I love that there's all these items on there. I do kind of wish that we could customize it so that there would be different items on the bistro tables but that's not an option right now, but that's okay because they are super cute. And um, you can see there, I used that seafood on the bags to make it look like it was their own custom brand that was being delivered to their store or to their restaurant. And um, this little pathway here is just gonna lead to the back. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be a bridge over that river at some point and then a little bit more natural area like I did for Hornsby House and one of those other builds. We're gonna make it more natural towards the back of the island where the villagers live. So the cityscape area is going to end at some point. I just haven't quite decided exactly where it's gonna end. But I did think putting a little um, parking lot there kind of ended the city on this road. So I thought that was kind of a nice way to end it. And I started decorating the beach. I hadn't decided in the beginning I wasn't gonna decorate the beach. And then I decided that I did want to use that blue and white lighthouse because it looks really good with this whole area. And it does make it look a little bit nautical, but it, it blends in with the winter theme that we're going with. So I thought it matched really well. So I'm totally fine that it's nautical. I used the pirate barrel. I did forget to turn it the opposite way because I didn't want the skulls showing, but later in the build, I will flip it around and we'll have the barrel, just kind of an old looking barrel. I like these fish racks. I feel like they look really good out on the beach and it almost looks like the smoker, that's where they're making some of their food. You know, um, I know here locally in Indiana, a lot of times we have like these pop-up um, chicken trucks that will go sit like in a Walgreens or a CVS or something and they'll do fundraiser chicken. So that was kind of the idea that I had behind that is it was just like a smoker that somebody brought to um, maybe the restaurant has an outdoor smoker area along with the inside kitchen. So that's why I had put that out there. And up top, I wanted to use some of these, um, I don't know, what do, you, what do you call them? They're not gazebos. I can't think what they're called, but I wanted to use the plants. This one that has the purple flowers is really pretty and looks really nice. And it's kind of, um, unfortunately, I mean, it doesn't look really wintry because it's all green. So it would be for like spring or summer, but we'll just forget about that for now because I think it looks really nice up here. And I wanted to make this look like a little seating area where maybe the outdoor seating under a gazebo or under, um, a trellis, I guess, is kind of what I think of that as. I don't, I can't remember what it's called, but 
That's the area that I was trying to create up here. And initially I had started with the plant partitions and thought I was gonna just do the plant partitions, but I started experimenting, like I said, with the greenery, the trees, the bushes, flowers, that sort of thing, and decided that I really liked it. So I ended up kind of changing this area. This took me quite a bit of time to figure out. And then, so I cut a lot of the figuring out part of it out so that you just see the finished product but I think it turned really nice and then I decided to extend the street up here like I had said earlier and had to kind of make it all fit with the street so that this looks like it's just the upper patio of the restaurant where you can sit and eat and not a part of the rest of the street up there. Now I did have to finish the builds that we had um, below where we used those medieval walls so I ended up having to put some of the more medieval walls because I hadn't finished that space when I did it for the entrance. So now I'm finishing the medieval walls and then using a lot of this fencing. I had used this fencing with the Hornsby build when we did Hornsby's house and I thought it looked really nice. It actually kind of looks coastal with the bamboo and I thought it looked really nice in this build. So instead of using the city wrought iron fencing that I had used elsewhere. I just went ahead and stuck with the bamboo because I thought it looked really nice with this restaurant. And here's where I'm deciding that I actually want to use like the trees and stuff over on this side as well, which ends up looking really nice from below. So I'm, I'm glad I had decided to kind of change it up and do that. And I'm just trying to figure out like which, what I'm putting where, flowers, you know, bushes, that sort of thing to make it consistent with the opposite side because I did want it to be a little bit symmetrical. And then I'm just trying to finish it off so that when you walk up, you have some sort of consistency and it looks really nice from below. And using again, these um, park benches, I think they're called, or yeah, I can't remember what they're called, but those benches using the same ones. I've used those in several of the other builds that I've done. And I really like the white version of it. I think it looks really good. So I, I guess my idea is that this town, that's the color that they use for all their benches across the entire city. Um, and I end up putting another tree right over here as well, just to um, line up with the tree back behind it to make it look a little bit more uniform with what I already had going on up here. And I think it looked really nice. I used the cedar trees instead of the hardwood trees just because they have a little bit more of a narrow line to them so you're able to see around them a little bit better. And I just finished off the street and that is it for the build. So I will walk through and give you guys a walkthrough so you can see exactly what we did in this whole build. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did and want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll continue creating these videos. Thank you all and have an awesome day.